pianists. Um, we're going to play the bass line. Um, and we're going to... The good thing is it's all in one fixed position. Um, I want you to put your pinky finger on the D note. And to put your the rest of your fingers all up in the line. So ring finger on E. Middle finger on F sharp. Index finger on G sharp. And thumb on A. And the riff goes like this. There's a rhythm extension now for the chords in the right hand. Um, so we're going to play our chords uh, staccato, short and sharp, on, on beat two and beat three and. So I'm just going to demonstrate. One, two, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Does that make sense? So going through all four chords um, playing it on beat two and beat four hope it makes sense one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and then we're gonna put the bass line and these two together. Does that make sense? Right, pianist, sorry for the close-up. Look at the state of that. Um, we're going to try and put the left hand and the right hand together and then eventually build our tempo up to 118 BPM. Does that make sense? Um, and then what I want you to do is what I've done here. Get some headphones. Um, you might need a secondary device. Get your device, put the metronome on 118 BPM. We don't want to hear the click in your video. Uh, we want to just hear your instrument. Does that make sense? Um, and then we're going to go on from there. And we're going to put the left hand and the right hand together with the extension um, and see how it goes.